recording? Yeah, but I'm, I'm just gonna like put sound over it. I'm not gonna talk. All right, guys. So unfortunately, I didn't record and install it. Uh, it was just so tedious and uh, like I was just trying my best to like make sure it was installed right. Uh, there's a couple imperfections that bothered me personally, but with like it being an aftermarket kit, I don't expect it to be 100% perfect on every little edge. Because after all, it's not an OEM kit. Uh, for the most part, everywhere it really fits good. But there's a couple imperfections. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and you guys are ready for the reveal. I haven't did the front bumper. Uh, this took a little longer than I thought on the rear because of the diffuser was a pain, bro. Like... I thought they were honestly lying about the diffuser being a pain, but it is legitimately a pain. It's legitimately a pain. Like, I don't know. And then, like, the new plastic part on the back wasn't threaded. So when we put the bolts in, we had to actually thread them ourselves in there by screwing them in, which was, like, really confusing to me. But <laughs> here we are. Here is the new side skirt. I don't know, you can't really see it from, like, the camera, but you can. I don't know. If you're here to see how it looks, you knew how the old one looks. So, I don't want to... That's what I'm going to say. I think it looks good, bro. Even, like, if you don't wrap it. Like, most people do black down there. I like the white, bro. That shit looks perfect. Now all the paint's messed up. Like, now all this looks like shit because these are freshly painted. And, it, like, it bothers me, bro. And, like, my voice is getting a little high because, like, this is sick, bro. I've always wanted to do this. Like, I've had it for three years, and I've always wanted to put this kit on. So, let's go on and take you to the back. Boom. Okay, so we did run into the issues with the back. Um, You can kind of see it right there. So, on this side, we were not paying attention to the gaps. We kind of just bolted it on. So, right here, we have a gap. Uh, maybe I'll get to it later eventually, but to the naked eye, bro, from, like, right here. You can't tell. So, that's good to be. Okay, let's get to the second part of how this was a pain. They didn't give me the brackets for the sensors. So, what we had to end up doing was using the ones off the old bumper, which it's supposed to come with new ones. But, we were going to get 3M tape, heat up the 3M tape, and scrape off the goo from the bracket. And then we were able to get the... Br they're not, like, the best. They're not flush at all. Don't get me wrong. Uh, But... It's better than nothing. So, like, as you can see, they kind of pop out a little bit. They're supposed to look like that. Flush and then not flush. This one's actually broke. So, we found out that when we took this one off, we broke the little, like, um, how do you, like, the sensor is this way, right? So, it has a clip here and a clip here, like, two ends. And I recorded, like, we broke it. So, that one was already going to hang out. And then this one's, like, kind of out, too. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll fix that in a later video. But I was just trying to fix it, like, get it on, you know what I mean? As you can see, it looks a lot better. And I ended up going with the actual, uh, so originally we were going to cut the, the, the dual diffuser, like the two holes. We ended up just, buy, I ended up just buying the black one, bro. And I honestly, I'm, I'm happy because now I don't have to cut anything with the Dremel. So yeah. And as you can see, it looks a lot better, bro. Tell me. I don't look like a show car now, boy. This is good. This looks good. Um, The only thing that's really left is the back. I mean, the front. Like, this took such a pain in the ass because, like, the diffuser was not fucking sitting right that we didn't even get to the front. So, we've been doing this all day, bro. So, as you can see, this isn't even unwrapped. Like, we still got to get to the front. I'm going to try to knock it out tonight. And maybe I'll show you a little later in this video, but... uh. I want to apologize for it not being like a, I never wanted to really, oh shoot, I almost dropped it. I never really wanted to make this a DIY video. The F30 has been out for, shit, mine's going on like five years old. So these things have been out forever. People have been doing the M4 kit for like hella long. Like there's plenty of videos, DIYs, step-by-step -step how to take this apart. So I kind of just wanted to make a little vlog out of it. Um, you know what I mean? I, I don't feel like explaining it. Like, I feel like there's a lot of good videos and bigger YouTubers that explain it good. And they did a good job. So, I just kind of wanted to bring you along while I was putting it on and show you how it looks. Um, yeah. And then, yeah. So, basically, we just have the front left. Um, 
I'll try to get a little footage of me, like, taking the scoop out. Like, because I still have a lot to do on the front. So maybe I'll record a little bit of that, and then I'll show you how it all looks in the morning in the sunlight. Because, like, you can't see it on camera, but this is how long the car's been sitting. In the garage, too. So, like, that is dirty. It needs to be washed. Uh, luckily, the paint was already cured, so... It was cured and like done already when I picked them up. So now I don't really have to wash. I could wash the whole car. Like I don't have to wait. Like usually have to wait a couple weeks, but I don't have to wait. So that's good. And then I don't know if you guys want to see the sneak peek, but very slip. This is my first front lip ever on any of my BMWs. And yes, this is another car and that screwdriver that lock wasn't working. We didn't have the key, so we drilled it out. Anyways, that's a whole nother car. But we got a very slip for the front, too. I'm all, I might honestly make this a whole nother video in itself, but I did want to show you guys real quick. Um, They threw this in for free. And uh, honestly, I d probably won't shout them out till I do a lip video because um, there's a story time to it. And although I did end up getting all the pieces, it took almost two months. And... <laughs> The funny part is, I still might get another kit. Like, mine's, mine was supposed to be in transit. This is someone else's. So, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, they gave me free lip. Parts were late. The paint came out great. Parts would look nice. But, like, he told me three weeks ago they'd be ready for a show. And I'm missing my show. And then, yesterday I drove 12 hours to LA. Which you guys would have already seen in the last little short video that I made before this one. We're, uh... We're working on the front, and we're pushing the grills in. I told you guys I would show you putting the new stuff on. So, yeah, here we are. We're trying to pop those in. These are a bitch. I'm not going to lie. Like, these take forever. She's using all her freaking force getting them, and I'm not going to do it. And then we already got the front grills and the new emblem on. But you can't see that right now. How would you rate this 1 through 10 installing these? This is like the worst shit I've ever installed. <laughs> Even worse than installing the... The front ones? Uh-huh. Bro, it sucks. I can't find a little piece that goes in the middle because I wanted to do it right. You've made me put those... What are you talking about? The grills? The kidney yeah. grills, yeah. No, but look, there's a piece that goes right here. Yeah, but you made me put those on while the bumper was still on. Uh -huh. And those were hard, but... Because it was up. Yeah, but these are harder than installing. No, these, these are way things. harder because you got to freaking finesse them. And then, like, the perfume is not perfect because, like, these ones are from China. They're not from freaking wherever BMW gets theirs from. So, like, it's a lot harder. You got them in already? Yeah. Okay. I'm um, hurting myself. We're going to start putting more stuff together, and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Yep. All right, guys. So, we're tired. We're not putting this on today. But you guys can get a glimpse of how it's going to look when it's on the car. And then, sure, everybody knows what the stock one looks like. But if you think there's no difference, look at this and look at that. I think that one looks way better, in my opinion. But, hey, people are going to say what they want to say. So... We're gonna continue this video tomorrow. Ready for the reveal of the F30. Um, I know this video is a little everywhere, but bear with me. I do have work and other things going on, so I can't just fully like go all the way into the car like I want. I think I just noticed something as we're speaking. The hell? The scoop is like oh. It popped out. Anyways. Anyways, here's how the F30 looks on the front. Uh, there's a couple little things need to be adjusted. That scoop's kind of off. Um, it's missing a push pin, but, you know, they're not all going <laughs> to stay in one piece. And then, yeah, I start to button up the bottom. Um, and then also the front lip is in the back seat. I'm not probably not gonna put that on today, but right now I'm kind of just playing with this hood gap. Um, I think I kind of got it where I wanted. I mean, this side was really bad, like it was tucked in. 
Sorry if the dirt, hood's dirty too, it's not true. <laughs> it's kinda good, but like, it is very, so like, it's tight there, open, open. So I think I'm gonna adjust it here a little bit more. And then maybe a tiny bit in the middle. I don't know, cause you, I don't know, you can't go too in cause of the hood. But man, does this thing just look good, man? So much big, so much of a difference. I mean, coming from this, M Sports style kit from that. I mean, I know a lot of people don't have the LCI, but that that is a crazy difference, bro. And you know, it's an aftermarket kit. And um, some people like OE Plus, but like I love the paint match reflector delete right here. As you can see, it's dirty from working on it, but the reflectors being deleted is like the coolest thing to me because like I fucking hate them, bro. Um, I don't know if you guys, you guys could probably go check out my car before I had them wrapped in black. I did it myself with some vinyl, just wrapped over it in black. Cause I knew this day would come where I get rid of it. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, at this point it's kind of just cleaning up the F30. Um, I want to take it to a lot more shows. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking we need, we probably need some new meerkats, bro. Like these have been moving me the whole time. They're, they're dirt. Like they look good. They're dirty. Cause the car's been sitting. But they got, they've got wavy because I used to park in the sun. I'm fortunate enough to park inside now. But I used to park over there. And in uh, Sacramento, it gets like 100 degrees. So uh, those didn't last that long without ceramic. And then as far as the wing, um, you know, I know it looks like it's bubbling, but it's smooth. Maybe I want to do a clear coat on this. It's not chipped. It's not yellowed. I think it just needs a new clear, bro, because like... When I buff this thing, it's super shiny, and then I just see it's dirty as hell, but, like, yeah, I think I just need to clear that out. And then, as far as the back, the back is my favorite part. Everybody's like, oh, the front looks sick. I love this back angle, bro. I don't know. I'm gonna finish up playing with that gap on the hood. Um, yeah, am I recording? I don't know. Oh, there's videos everywhere at this point, so mess with that a little bit more and then uh, i'll get back to you guys in a couple minutes i'll pull it out and i'll do it one last walk around and then I'll, i think i'm gonna do a whole dedicated video to the lip because i don't know the car's already super low so imagine with the lip bro it's just gonna be dragging so i think i want to self-tap it instead of using tape but yeah let me go ahead and pop the hood um start adjusting the gap and i'll get back to you guys in a couple of minutes I'm gonna do that side now. It's just, you gotta move like those bolts and you gotta push in, push out, like just get it how you want. Now the one that's bothering me is that one cause it's kind of popped out. I'm gonna try to pull it, but I don't wanna break it. All right guys, so that's gonna conclude the video. On the bumpers, if you're new, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I need to bring you guys more content, uh, it's almost, springtime so there will be a lot more car content and i'll catch you guys in the next 